Australia, the great southern land. For eons, it has been isolated from the rest of the world. Its amazingly unique wildlife sharing the continent with the Noongars, the Bardi, the Kuris, the Pitanjara, and many more Aboriginal peoples. These people, their culture as unique as the animals and the land itself, have walked and sung the history and legend of this strange and diverse continent for more than 40,000 years. This vast and fragile country was theirs and theirs alone. Then around 400 years ago, a ship sailed over the horizon, bringing with it the first Europeans. Settlers brought their way of doing things, their windmills, their houses, and changed Australia forever. Not only for the indigenous people, but for the endemic species of plants and animals as well. With the settlers came rats, dogs, rabbits, cats and foxes. While Australia still has some of the world's most unique species, in the last 200 years, Australia has seen the worst level of extinctions than any other country on the face of the earth. It had at least 144 species of marsupials. Today, 10 of those have disappeared and another 19 are on the endangered list. While Australians may think they are conservation-minded, they have the worst reputation on record. In the past two centuries, scores of species of mammals, birds, insects and plants have become extinct. The most famous of all being the Tasmanian tiger, or thylacine. A marsupial wolf, it was hunted to extinction. This was the last one. It died out during the 1930s, along with its species. And today there are many, many more species going exactly the same way. The woily or brush-tailed betong. The chudich or quoll. The numbat. The long-nosed potteroo. And the incredibly fragile honey possum. These are but a few of the mini marsupials that are teetering on the edge of extinction. But there are people fighting to save them before it's too late. <laughs> 